what's going on guys welcome to the city of peace and justice okay i'm at den haag in the netherlands um, it's my second time here this year to be fair first time i came here it wasn't so sunny um, i just kind of came to have a quick break but anyway guys um i'm on the beach um it's pretty hard well for me it's hard to pronounce the name of the beach it's like um skeven bro i don't speak dutch it's just too much it's too much <laughs> i'll write it on the screen for you okay um it's just too much to say but anyway guys um it's a nice day it's like uh 20 degrees i think or maybe 19 a uh, bit of wind um but it's warm in certain parts where there's no shade um it's nice and warm but the breeze keeps it all balanced but anyway guys i'm gonna do a bit of a brief um beach walk i mean it's not the busiest day it's midweek but as you know in europe well anywhere close to the uk <laughs> you know that the, the weather's gonna change randomly so anyway guys i'm gonna do a bit of a beach walk and um i hope you enjoy the video smash the like button and consider subscribing because guys without you i can't grow the channel can't grow and um guys i need some motivation from you guys okay all right enjoy the views so guys and here we go on the beach walk okay um <laughs> again i'm not going to try and pronounce the name but it's right there on the screen okay all right let's go I mean, just a quick comparison on um, this beach to Barcelona's beach. It's definitely, definitely different. I mean, the area is actually bigger, to be honest. The area, like of the beach circumference, like how far the sun goes back all the way down there. Like, it's pretty far, to be honest. Um, in Barcelona, that, that doesn't really happen. But anyway, um here in the netherlands in the hague this beach is a sandy beach as you can see sure yeah and it's decent to be fair obviously further up it's it's dry sand down here is a little bit um more damp the tide has gone back a little bit earlier and i think it's on its way back in towards the shore but um as you get further down where you can see the yellow flags I'm not sure if you can see them from here on screen uh, but yeah as you get a little further down there it does get a little bit more quieter um, and the reason why I'm walking this way instead of the other way is because I just wanted a different perspective um, just to show you guys you know how it looks when you're walking away from the crowds okay now i'm just going to do a quick pan around just to show you you got people further up there and that's the pier in the background with the big uh, ferris wheel now you can't see it from here but there's a zip line i think it goes from just past the ferris wheel all the way down there and it looks pretty rapid to be honest um, maybe just maybe i might go on there not today maybe tomorrow or friday um but yeah maybe not today maybe another day before i go back home um get some of that adrenaline going but anyway let's continue walking all along that side there's a lot of restaurants i mean there's restaurant after restaurant there's a sea life center somewhere I'm not sure if it's there yeah sea life center you probably can't see it from this distance but it is there so there's a lot of stuff going on you don't really see anyone like sunbathing and i don't think it's the weather to do it in <laughs> to be honest um, maybe if this is portugal or spain you'll see 
uh, more skin on the beach but anyway I didn't come here to see skin I just came here for the vibe and the sound of the ocean which I love I mean it's so uh, peaceful you can just sit here for hours man I mean I know I can So let's get a little closer to the sea and um, skim past some of these people you know what guys I heard apparently that that sometimes on the beach or the beaches in the Netherlands um, jellyfish wash onto the shore but again I'm not 100% sure if that's true because I haven't seen it myself but it might be it might be down to the time of day or the season or it might be a bit random so just word of word of caution just um keep your eyes open okay and whilst you got your eyes open smash that like button and consider subscribing today all right guys all right let's go Kites there in the background. Got kids playing with kites. You got people swimming up in the sea. Not for me, looks a bit cold. Looks a bit too cold for me. It's nice man, I like I like how peaceful it is here. guys this just feels like a perfect spot to go for regular daily jogs sort out your exercise routine uh, it just seems like the the spot man um, not much people in the way for you to crash into when you're jogging you can just kind of just get onto the program and just get jogging go for a good run burn some calories keep that body in shape keep the mind sharp you know guys especially if you live in the country you know you get a chance to take advantage of some of these uh, perks not sure if you can see but there's less and less people so guys it's not that I don't want to continue the whole walk um, I just think for viewing purposes I think you guys probably you know <laughs> lack the attention span to not see human beings in front of the camera um, but saying that that's not actually true because I see a lot of people you know watching videos like this and there's not much going on other than life and I think you know what's life without people so that's what I've learned. Life is about people. That's my philosophy. So yeah guys, I am enjoying my short stay here it's well it's not exactly a short stay but it kind of is it's like just under a week really um don't really need much time here to be fair it's not as if 
it's a massive huge country i mean when i go to india god willing um i should be there for three weeks maybe two three weeks depends but uh yeah maybe three weeks would be perfect if i could push it to a month that would be great but you know due to life circumstances i'm not sure that can happen at the moment but i'm working on it okay i'm working on it i've got people on it i wonder how cold the water is really Yeah, as you can take a look here less and less people on this side but it's definitely more a private area like i think you would enjoy it if you was here just chilling maybe romancing a chick or something you know but yeah it's more chilled on this side In the background on the sea you can see um boats well actually i don't know if you guys can see it but i can see it with my with my eye not sure if it shows up on the gopro you got someone doing i don't know if that's paragliding or something um i don't know but there's someone out there floating around on a kite but they're in the water why i don't even know what the actual word is but they're in the water but they've got a kite uh, powering their movement something i've never done but god willing something that i would like to do at some stage now, it gets a bit difficult when you're walking around with like electrical equipment so you kind of kind of plan your day come out maybe with uh, waterproof wallets and stuff for your electricals like mobile phone and stuff But yeah, maybe in the future. guys i came to the Netherlands for more than just going to the beach okay but i know beach content is loved around the world and so i just wanted to show you guys more beach content on the channel i mean the goal isn't to just flood my channel or the channel with beach content but you know everyone loves the beach it's so cool here it's so cool okay but yeah there's more to come i've got other plans to go to amsterdam or i should say back to amsterdam um do a bit of roaming around there guys um do some more vlogging show you my experiences of uh my day there if i can squeeze two days there that would be great but at least I've got to get one full day. Um, I'm also planning to design my own chocolate bar in Amsterdam. So that should be fun. So guys, make sure you stay tuned to um, the channel by subscribing. And then you'll see when I upload a new video. You know. About the chocolate. Okay. You'll see that video. Hopefully I'll get full permission to vlog inside, inside the factory or inside the store. That'll be fun. Okay, I'm 
back with part two of the video of Shebing Gingham Beach. <laughs> Guys, my Dutch sucks, man. I can't pronounce Dutch words. They're just too difficult. Anyway, this is part two of the last video of me at the beach in Den Haag or Den Haag or The Haag. Okay, so guys, I'm walking towards the pier. I'm gonna go underneath it. And then after that, I am gonna go up onto the pier and have a look around, okay? So let's go. I'm not gonna talk as much, but guys, just taking the views. Like these people, taking in the views. I wonder if I'm walking too fast by the way guys If I am, just leave a message below in the comment section It's hard to tell, I'm just walking normal pace but I'm not sure what it looks like on video Guys can you see the people in the background? Going on the zip line So awesome and It's fun guys are about to um, walk under the pier now I'm walking a little further this side because the water has reached all the way here and I don't want to get like loads of sand on my trainers okay apparently they do uh, bungee jumping here I've never done bungee jumping and I don't think I ever will no way that's just mad can't do it man can't do it alright sand is a bit more dry on this side so you've got more people hanging out lots of families here from various ethnicities
about to uh, exit the shade from the pier. No way, I can see someone surfing up there. He just got totaled by the wave. He or she, I don't know which one. <laughs> it's hard to tell from here. But yeah, surfing's hard, man. Hard skill. Alright, this is the other side of Sheveningham <laughs> Beach. <laughs> man, guys, I just can't, I can't say it. Sheveningham. Shevening Heng. I don't know, man. I don't know. Somebody Dutch, please help out with the pronunciation. <laughs> it's just too hard. Oh, uh, gosh. One thing I do love about being in the Netherlands is that people speak, on average, two to four languages. Now, obviously, that's not everybody. But lots of people speak minimum two languages. So England and America, you need to uh, need to fix up. I know, you know, the Brits have kind of colonized, 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 colonized the world, and so that English is like the main international language of the world. But seriously, man, like for the next generation. Who knows if the Chinese won't be running things so maybe you might need to change your name from John or Pablo or Eugene to I don't know <laughs> name a Chinese name <laughs> I don't want to be random with a Chinese name because I don't think I know any uh, Ling Xiao Liu Mei Ling I don't know. Li Wu. Might have to change your name to Li Wu in a few years. Because the Chinese might take over. <laughs> Maybe. So get your kids learning some uh, Mandarin. Okay. Or Cantonese. I can't remember which one's the main spoken language. But yeah. Anyway, on this side of the pier. On this side of the pier there are like beach restaurants and bars places to sit down like couches and stuff with umbrellas so it's a bit more chilled but saying that there's more seaweed on this side there is a lot more seaweed but it's still chilled it's nice and calm i would walk all the way down there but it doesn't look like there's much going on down that side just a few kites i know it's a little bit of a walk a walking tour but you know guys it's also a vlog and um i just wanted to show you where i'm at chilling i'm gonna sit down on the couch for a bit um i might order a drink i might not uh but yeah guys thanks so much for your support thanks for watching the video thank you for watching the previous video and the previous videos if you haven't already done so smash the like button and subscribe to the channel